Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our second seminar. My name is Takata from uh, <coughs> Summer Science and Engineering Division. So today we have two uh, distinct superstars from Korea. Okay. I will uh, briefly introduce the first uh, speaker. The first speaker is uh, uh, Professor Min Soo Kim from Seoul National University. Uh, he uh, got a PhD in, uh, at Seoul National University then, so he <coughs> joined the NIST uh, for three years after getting a PhD, and he joined the, uh, as a faculty member of the uh, uh, School of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering of uh, Seoul National University in 1994. And he, his research focuses on thermal energy system, including heat pumps, refrigeration units, and the fuel cell systems. And he published more than 20, uh, 200, 200 uh, general papers and more than 350 uh, conference papers. He's a member of many, you know, uh, uh, societies like uh, ASME and. Uh, Ashley and IR, the others. And he got a, uh, a lot of uh, award and also now he's presently, he is uh, president of Korean National Committee of IIR and uh, he received uh, some uh, <coughs> uh, important uh, positions from the government. Okay. So today his talk is uh, Performance enhancement of uh, polymer electrolyte membrane. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's invite him. Well, uh, thank you so much for your uh, nice introduction. Yeah. Well, konnichiwa. Hajimemashite. Yeah. Sayonara. Yeah, anyhow, uh, that's like, so all I can uh, actually say. And then uh, maybe Svoi Svarashi. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, today, uh, uh, performance enhancement okay, of uh, polymer electrolyte uh, membrane fuel cell. Well, the fuel cell, uh, well, me as a mechanical engineer, uh, there are many chemical guys, material guys, and many, many physics guys here. But the mechanical, I don't know why, but we like some kind of system. Yeah? yeah. For example, instead of, uh, uh, for example, if I'm asking what is actually very important in the car, then uh, you may say engines. Yeah? If I say what is very important in your body, then I guess nobody is saying heart. Yeah? Rather, uh, you can say health or some, something. Yeah? Then if I'm asking once again what is uh, very important in cars, uh, then safety and something like that. So uh, that means uh, the system, okay? uh, even though uh, you have a very nice uh, brain, okay? but you need also heart and you also need hands like that. So everything should be somehow combined together well and then it should be uh, operated nicely. Yeah, that is, I guess, uh, what I uh, think as a system. Yeah, yeah. So here, uh, uh, many guys are doing some uh, materials, and then I have seen some labs just before uh, this time. And then, well, uh, it is a really uh, fantastic facility. And then, what is, I guess, uh, I'm sure that what is most, much more important is that I guess uh, the people with passion. Yeah, here, yeah. Uh, so uh, here uh, I prepared some, some research topics here, but rather uh, 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 doing, uh, 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 I mean explaining in detail, I'd like to uh, somehow uh, uh, explain uh, what is, I guess, uh, why actually we, or I, yeah, with my uh, graduate students, why actually uh, we, we, did, 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 did we try actually this kind of research like that? So rather I uh, kind of uh, lab for like a uh, seminar so that you can ask as many questions as you want anytime. Okay? Yeah. 
Okay, so I'd like to uh, somehow uh, say like that. So uh, here are many diverse uh, uh, people from many, many countries. Okay? Uh, here are uh, uh, well, the North Korean things at uh, this time quite uh, sensitive even to you and also South Korea and uh, we have uh, uh, big Japan, China, Russia like that. Yeah. Uh, there, uh, this is South Korea and then uh, we have uh, uh, Seoul area and then uh, maybe the Han River that's in the middle of uh, our uh, city and then the, the width is about 1.5 kilometer in pretty wide. River. And then uh, our Seoul National University uh, was in downtown, but uh, back in about 40 years ago, just like uh, Kyushu University, we moved to the southern part, southernmost part. Yeah, yeah. So that at the time, uh, only uh, the mountains are there, but uh, it was uh, made uh, some new campus there 40 years ago. And then uh, at this time, we are uh, uh, quite uh, nice. Uh, 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 the environment there, yeah? all the mountains are surrounded and then nice air like that. Uh, our school has, I mean, I just, just, just one slide to introduce our uh, university. Uh, it was established back in 1946, and then uh, we have uh, 16 colleges, the university, that means the natural science, social, humanities, engineering, pharmacy, medical, and musical, and then uh, arts, and everything is there. Yeah? Yeah. And then uh, we have uh, 28 uh, 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 students, including uh, uh, master and uh, PhD. So I guess uh, uh, slightly uh, is, uh, of the same size with uh, Kyushu University. Slightly bigger, maybe? Yeah. Slightly bigger? Yeah. Okay, this is actually uh, our university. And then uh, this is actually the southern, southernmost part and uh, all the mountains. Yeah? And then, uh, uh, well, at this time, we don't have uh, uh, ulfs or some, uh, some uh, uh, what is it, uh, wild animals there, but I heard that uh, in this campus at night, there are some, some animals. But in Korea, that we sometimes find some uh, cats and dogs, actually, in, in the campus. I don't know where they are come from, but uh, we can see it, yeah. Right? Uh, we have uh, three buildings for, uh, we have uh, two institutes and one building, but uh, all of them are for our uh, mechanical uh, related. Yeah, uh, well, here uh, ISNOR is the International Institute for uh, Energy Research. Okay? Yeah. And uh, energy, uh, well, energy problem, energy uh, uh, topics are always actually our uh, great concern. Okay? Well, back in the uh, uh, oil crisis, then everybody was focusing on oil things. But that right after then, the peaceful area, peaceful time was there, and then nobody is paying uh, much attention. And then uh, we have another energy crisis, and then uh, paying much attention, and then after that, uh, uh, well, less attention. Uh, well, at this time, at this time, uh, many people think that uh, petroleum, okay? Uh, that kind of carbon related things are anyhow limited. So we should find out some other form of energy sources. Okay? Without it, well, it is very hard to imagine that uh, how actually our life will be. Okay? Uh, that means uh, without, uh, you, you imagine that without any electricity and without any uh, gasoline or oils like that, okay? even the natural gas, then what, what will happen? I guess. Uh, Almost everything will be stopped, and then, uh, well, our life okay, uh, cannot be uh, actually. Uh, uh, I, mean, I mean, I mean, we cannot imagine that kind of situation. So, uh, uh, in addition to that kind of limited energy sources, okay, uh, one other thing is that because of the CO two uh, uh, production, they like to uh, somehow reduce. Uh, CO2 production, okay? even though the concentration of CO2 actually in the air is not much, but uh, they are generated from human beings' activities, that means cars or cars and factories and burning something and power uh, generation like that, so we'd like to somehow reduce it. That means uh, anyhow somehow uh, reduce okay? the, 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 the use of uh, uh, natural resources. Yeah? yeah, that is, unless we do that, then the, well, they are saying that uh, our uh, 
uh, in global warming increases, I mean, the, 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 I mean, uh, somehow accelerated, and then I, it will, I guess, uh, well, uh, every year that the typhoon is coming to Japan and Korea, and then its intensity eh, is increasing and increasing. Eh? That is somehow because of global warming. Eh? Yeah, that's, I guess, we need uh, anyhow to do something. Yeah. And one other thing is that the increase of energy demand that is always increasing. So somebody, uh, as a joke, if, uh, well, in Japan, I guess, uh, uh, per 1,000 people, eh, uh, the number of cars are 400. Eh? And if you look at European countries or uh, America, I guess per uh, 1,000 people, about 400 is kind of a saturation number of the cars. And then uh, if China eh, uh, is uh, uh, reaching uh, that level, then I guess, uh, well, it must be part of the joke, but uh, the world actually gasoline and diesel uh, could be used in China. That means uh, uh, we should pay quite an amount of uh, attention to uh, this uh, energy demand, demand increase. Yeah, yeah. So in this kind of situation, uh, well, many, many uh, countries, actually, uh, many countries also in Japan, then uh, they'd like to uh, somehow reduce about 25% uh, below uh, 1990 levels by 2020, quite clear uh, target. Uh, well, uh, frankly speaking, our target is 37 point below business as usual, BAU, okay? uh, projected emissions in 2020. Uh, by uh, this year. So that is slightly ambiguous, but anyhow, we'd like to uh, reduce some uh, CO2 generations there. So, uh, because of that uh, uh, scenario, year by year, that uh, uh, many, many, many uh, countries uh, somehow uh, uh, try to reduce it. Yeah? So, uh, somehow limited natural resources. Yeah? And then, uh, we uh, should somehow re reduce CO2 production. Yeah? Then there should be some other way. Yeah? Not many ways. Yeah? That's why we and me uh, are doing uh, some uh, research for uh, future energy sources and some uh, rational uh, utilization. Yeah, one of uh, the way is the solar. Yeah? Solar. I mean, that's I guess. Uh, uh, well, 46, I guess, uh, some, some uh, billion years like that, 4.6 billion years. And then uh, wind, always wind is, I mean, uh, uh, blowing because of temperature difference. Okay? Yeah. And uh, geothermal, uh, well, there's magma, but uh, anyhow, uh, some kind of uh, uh, geothermal uh, heat source or heat sink that could be used. And uh, hydro, bio, tide, like that. Well, that's, I guess, everlasting. Yeah, we believe everlasting, yeah? but its energy density yeah? is not that high. Yeah? What I'm saying is that, for example, petroleum, that was accumulated, I mean, the solar energy is somehow accumulated in, uh, uh, what is it, uh, planktons or bacteria or whatever type of uh, uh, some uh, organic things. And then uh, accumulation uh, under the sea, and then with the pressure and temperature, and then long, long time uh, was consumed to make uh, uh, that kind of petroleum. And then uh, so far we have used 200 years. From now on, maximum about 200 years are uh, where well, they believe it's kind of a maximum period that we can use it. So uh, definitely we need some other sources. Okay? Well, uh, this solar and wind, even though its energy density is not very high, we should pay attention. Okay? Even though that can cover just 1%, okay? we should, I mean, use it. Okay? <coughs> well, that is quite uh, 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 straightforward. Yeah, one other thing is that the hydrogen. Okay? Hydrogen. Uh, well, hydrogen, believe it or not, that uh, we have uh, uh, anyhow, uh, uh, quite an amount of hydrogen. Okay? Well, uh, water, that there was <coughs> hydrogen. If you are having some food, uh, well, the carbon base, but there are also hydrogens and oxygen in there, like that. So uh, it is quite uh, strange that uh, if you look at the Venus, okay? Venus, on other planet, the, 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 the atmosphere is I mean, <laughs> CO2, okay? but in our Earth, that is uh, oxygen and nitrogen. Okay? 
if you look at Mars, okay, the atmosphere is like it's a CO2, okay, quite a strange, okay, quite strange situation, okay, and then the Venus doesn't have any water, okay, and then uh, Mars actually um, maybe some clue there was water, but uh, uh, no water. But in 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 Earth we have uh, lots of uh, water there, okay. So that is also quite strange, okay? But anyhow, uh, because of that, because of that, we can have uh, some sources of hydrogen uh, quite uh, uh, nicely. Uh, one of them is, uh, well, at this time, uh, the, the industry, they are making lots of hydrogens, okay? During some kind of process, then hydrogen is quite, uh, uh, quite an amount is made, okay? And then uh, in the worst case, you can crack down from uh, methane or ethane or uh, somebody is trying to do uh, from uh, gasoline or diesel. Okay? Well, in that process, uh, we know that the CO2 is formed. Okay? But, uh, uh, well, uh, in the f uh, near future, then, uh, uh, well, uh, some kind of high temperature uh, heat source, okay? one of them could be some uh, nuclear power plant. Okay? Uh, not, not this kind of type, but a high temperature, uh, fast reactor, okay, that can generate okay, some hydrogen generating cycles. Okay? Yeah. So uh, hydrogen could be uh, one uh, choice uh, as we can use as one of uh, future uh, energy uh, source. Okay? Yeah, that is, I guess, uh, quite uh, acceptable. So uh, some years ago, then even US they uh, designed some hydrogen society. Okay? But uh, uh, president has been changed, and then they shifted to some other one. And then uh, uh, depending on the uh, Republicans or Democratic, then uh, coming this way and that way. That's I guess what's happening there. So uh, fuel cell. Okay? Here uh, SFC is widely uh, studied. And also uh, the PEM fuel cells are uh, quite, um, uh, uh, I mean, uh, intensively studied. And also Toyota company is also making uh, hydrogen fuel cell cars, and its performance is quite nice. Okay? Also in Korea, the Hyundai Motor Company is making uh, fuel cell cars, and those two companies' uh, uh, fuel cell cars performance are the best one. Some other companies. I mean, all the other uh, automotive companies are developing fuel cell cars, and then they have it, okay? Even though there is no markets like that, but they make it, okay? Yeah, and then they have the, 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 the technologies, yeah. So uh, when uh, you are looking at this kind of fuel cell system, yeah? Fuel cell system, well, uh, we can say that uh, uh, well, engine is very important, but uh, only engine cannot drive actually uh, the whole uh, vehicle. Uh, that is, like, I guess, quite the same that heart is important, but heart alone cannot actually do uh, actually our uh, life actually. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, okay, okay, yeah. So uh, this. Fuel cell systems are related, then uh, fuel cell stack is very important. Okay? Uh, fuel cell stack, uh, normally, I guess that is chemical engineers are paying lots of attention. Membranes and catalysts and developing new catalysts and then see the surface and the structures and then the nano, nanoscale, some uh, catalysts and then uh, using less platinum and then uh, using some other materials and then uh, they are paying lots of attention. But that's not all. Okay? That's uh, just like heart, but uh, in the case we need uh, some other uh, parts, uh, for example, BOP, that is just like hands, food, and some other lungs, and some uh, stomach like that. Okay? So uh, that kind of BOP, we say balance of plant, some, uh, 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 how can I say, some uh, uh, operating some devices that should be all uh, well combined to uh, uh, make the whole system, for example, car uh, running uh, very nicely. If you look at uh, in more detail, then there are fuel cell systems. Fuel cell systems are hydrogen is supplied there, 
and then uh, oxygen is supplied from the air, and then that is somehow combined inside. Okay? In that process, hydrogen should be somehow uh, uh, somehow uh, separated into H plus and electron. H plus is going through the membrane. Okay? Electrons cannot go there, so electrons are uh, moving through uh, the conductor. That is, I guess, uh, just like a, a battery. Okay? So here uh, we are saying that that's the fuel cell. But uh, in the case, uh, electricity is uh, constantly generated when uh, hydrogen is uh, supplied. And also that's the chemical reaction. Heat is also generated. Okay? So uh, when you think about the uh, home, okay? also in Japan, uh, I guess uh, household, uh, the fuel cell systems are uh, somehow uh, installed about 300,000 uh, units. I guess uh, more than that at this time. So uh, uh, if you have uh, some hydrogen that is coming from, I guess, uh, natural gas at this time, but if uh, there are some hydrogen supply, then hydrogen there, and then uh, oxygen that's coming from the air, and then what's coming out? Electricity and heat. So using that kind of heat, about 60 degrees C, you can make hot water, and then uh, that water for shower, electricity for computers and everything. So uh, some uh, small size of uh, fuel cells can cover your electricity and heat. That's the fuel cell. So uh, what the fuel cell, uh, well, uh, I just mentioned the very good things only, but uh, well, uh, I guess uh, anybody has uh, your friends who is studying very nicely, very rich, and very good in uh, his mind, and then, uh, well, very uh, uh, attractive to the other uh, friends. Okay? Uh, what I'm saying is that uh, even people, okay, there's no well, that kind of people who has everything. Okay? What I'm saying is that well, there's an old saying that uh, me in Bang Myung, which is uh, those guys who has too much of uh, talent okay, are living short. Okay? Kind of uh, Chinese, I guess, old saying. So uh, that means uh, there are, oh, if you look at all the systems, then I guess uh, uh, if there are good things, there are also not so good things. Okay? Well, those who uh, have a very high score, for example, 4.0, Okay? Normally, uh, those, my observation is that uh, those guys who are studying very hard okay, doesn't have uh, uh, good enough uh, some social factors, okay? right? So uh, somehow uh, uh, my students who is a uh, slightly okay type of uh, grade, okay, they are very good at uh, meeting people and communicating uh, with other people, that's very nice. So uh, uh, that means uh, everybody has their own talent. Yeah. Uh, just like this, uh, fuel cell, it has also uh, some disadvantages and some uh, demerits. One of them is cost, which is uh, still, uh, it is very hard, I mean, very expensive. Why is it expensive? Well, at this time, the uh, the number of uh, production is not uh, many, and there are also some uh, uh, platinums should be there, and then uh, not uh, much of a market there, and uh, R&D cost slightly, uh, in, I mean, much like that. So uh, the cost, I guess, it should be reduced. Uh, well, uh, when we are talking about cost. Uh, our uh, Hyundai Motor Company, they uh, made it slightly uh, earlier than the Toyota Company. And then they so sold uh, the fuel cell cars at the price of uh, 100,000 euros. Okay? About $150,000. Okay? But Toyota uh, declared that we'd like to sell the car at uh, $70,000. Okay? Then uh, Hyundai Motor Company is selling the car at the same price. Okay? So the price is uh, 
uh, well, at this time they are not getting some uh, enough of uh, profits there, but the price, uh, uh, it means that there are some rooms that we can reduce it. Yeah, yeah performance. Well, uh, how, 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 how long actually your uh, engine car is running? What I'm saying is that uh, uh, how many hours of uh, engine okay, uh, should be uh, uh, guaranteed for your uh, five year or 10 year of uh, 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 car uh, ownership? Yeah, normally actually one hour coming, one hour going. Okay? Multiplied by actually 365, that is about, that is about 700. Okay? So uh, roughly per year, you are running the engine about 1,000 hours. Okay? So 5,000 hours of running is five years of your vehicle operation, unless you are driving a taxi. Yeah, yeah. So uh, 5,000 hours, about five years of a car running. So uh, this fuel cell, yeah, it should also guarantee minimum 5,000 hours. Yeah? That's, I guess, uh, if it is installed in the car, that's, I guess, five years of running. Yeah? If uh, this fuel cell is uh, somehow uh, uh, alive for 2,000, 2000 actually, Hours that means only after two years it's, it's, it will be dead. Yeah? Yeah. So at this time, uh, the fuel cell uh, researchers are uh, having, I mean, reaching about uh, uh, 10,000 hours. Yeah? That means around 10 years of uh, running the, the private uh, passenger cars. That is, I guess, quite an amount of uh, durability that could be installed in the car, okay? Yeah. And then, uh, uh, that kind of thing should be uh, somehow... Uh, so, uh, uh, so far I just uh, focusing on the importance of hydrogen, and there could be a possible solution as a future energy sources, okay? And then, uh, for uh, uh, applying it to the cars, well, uh, then uh, we should consider some factors, okay? So, as a mechanical engineer who is doing some uh, research on the systems, uh, some of the ideas are coming from actually these things. So, uh, when we are uh, investigating something, what is the problem? What should be uh, needed? What should be uh, actually updated? That kind of things are uh, one of the best choice. So, I will introduce uh, some examples of this uh, uh, BOP research, that means uh, how to uh, uh, do some research on this fuel cell system as we can here. Yeah, one of them is actually performance improvement. Performance uh, is always it should be improved. Why? Well, because uh, uh, well, we need some electricity or some gasoline but for the same gasoline or electricity, then uh, some amount of output some somewhat bigger, then that's nicer. So uh, in that case, we use some kind of a pulsation. pulsation. So this was uh, somehow coming from uh, 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 pulsation, actually, uh, that is, I guess, uh, uh, God, okay? I don't know which God, but God made uh, human beings and then He know pulsation. Okay? Instead of having through your blood, okay? if, uh, it, instead of having constant flow rate, uh, 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 blood flow, He uh, is using, I mean, He designed it this way. I mean, using some pumping, then um, the, your blood is going this way and this way and this way like that. Yeah, that is one thing. Second thing is that your aspiration. Yeah? Your lung size is about uh, 1400. Yeah? But uh, you uh, just imagine that how much of uh, each breathing yeah? can uh, come in, I mean, the air amount for your each breath, breath yeah? could be somehow uh, estimated. That is, I guess, about 300, 400. Yeah. Then how can this lung 
can uh, exchange oxygen and CO2 uh, should be somehow emitted by that kind of uh, some, some, some small amount of air coming in, coming out, coming in, coming out. So lungs actually in this part are uh, well that uh, some accumulation of CO2 may be there? No. Okay? So I guess uh, God okay, designed our body so nicely. Okay? So we got uh, uh, that kind of idea from uh, here so that the heart and then uh, by using some kind of pulsation okay, that is increasing heat transfer and also mass transfer. Okay? So, uh, well, uh, this is a slightly uh, exaggerated picture, but, uh, well, instead of this, well, it is somehow pulsating factors there. Well, overall, it is moving this way, but uh, average velocity may be the same, but going this way and this way and this way, okay? That will maybe breaking uh, the boundary layers rather easily, okay? So, uh, breaking the boundary layers is always good, okay? Yeah. So that, uh, uh, by using uh, some kind of piston cylinders like this so that uh, well, these kind of things are moving pistons and then we can add some pulsating flow in the main flow okay? yeah. so definitely then uh, if I add that kind of pulsating factors then performance well definitely it is better but we have some extra consumption of energy here. Okay? So we should count on uh, how much of uh, extra uh, work uh, is consumed here. Okay? So uh, well, uh, when I'm looking at always the SFC uh, 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 fuel cells, there, there are many guys actually in, in doing research on fuel cells, well, uh, fuel cell, SFC, uh, you have uh, some IV curves like that, okay? And then pretty nice uh, uh, thing, and if you change some materials and you have some uh, elevated IV curves, and then um, what else? If you change uh, some structures and some better things, or 5% better like that, okay? Yeah. But still, uh, well, nobody is uh, quite uh, brave to say, but normally I guess you are making about uh, 700, 800 degrees C of environment by electricity. Okay? So, uh, some electricity is coming out from the SFC, but much more, okay? much more energy is coming into the SFC. So, uh, when you are making some system, well, at this time it is not generating net power. Okay? That is quite the same as the uh, what is it? nuclear fusion reactors, okay? not the fission reactors, but the nuclear fusion reactors, well, using uh, uh, deuterium and tritium, uh, using some, uh, that kind of uh, reaction, the, the, the a neutron is coming out and it is also generating some heat, okay? and then now uh, using that kind of heat, we can generate some electricity, okay? that's okay, but in order to make uh, this kind of uh, uh, reaction, then much more heat or some energy is at this moment coming in. So uh, uh, the net, net electricity generation, uh, that is, I guess, uh, from system viewpoint, well, uh, it should be resolved actually in the future. Yeah. So uh, it, when we are doing uh, this kind of uh, uh, pulsation, then, well, uh, this is actually non pulsating case, and if we do some uh, pulsating case, uh, always actually uh, it's uh, 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 power output increases and also uh, uh, this was done for uh, the dead end fuel cell so dead end fuel cell means that uh, we should somehow uh, purge okay? purge some gases uh, to outside so purge uh, intervals uh, increasing that is uh, it's always nice okay? so uh, this kind of thing is uh, 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 quite uh, uh, used in uh, submarines. Okay? They use also fuel cells, but the dead end, I mean the fuel, uh, the, the, the hydrogen uh, cannot be released to uh, the ocean. Okay? Well, that kind of release makes some noise and then uh, can be detected by the others. Okay? So uh, they have a dead end. Okay? So uh, in dead end, purge means that uh, relieving some uh, 
uh, uh, gas from the system. Okay? But uh, when we are doing some pulsations, the mass transfer is much uh, enhanced, and then uh, we will get rather a uniform type of uh, uh, concentration distribution, and that will uh, increase the, uh, the, the, the purge interval. That is, I guess, uh, uh, in other words, that, that represents some uh, enhanced performance. Okay? Yeah. Well, here are uh, some uh, ID curves are there, and then uh, performance actually uh, increasing. Okay? Uh, another idea is that uh, we need uh, some kind of uh, high performance. High performance means that when we are using the same amount of hydrogen, the same amount of uh, oxygen, then uh, we need uh, some, some better, uh, some much more amount of electricity generated. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, in this case, uh, well, uh, already uh, the Toyota company also uh, designed some structures, okay? but in our case, we, we approached some other way, uh, so that uh, how, for the same uh, amount of hydrogen consumption, how can we increase actually its uh, uh, electricity generation? Okay? So uh, in this case, uh, we use the same membrane, the same uh, bipolar plate. Normally, I guess, uh, the uh, Fuel cells are having this type of uh, channels and gas diffusion layers are there. But because of these channels, uh, water are generated by hydrogen and oxygen reaction that is normally actually uh, staying in, in that part, land part. Okay? So uh, idea is coming from, well, if we remove land, okay? That, that means we have just one big uh, channel like that, okay? then no passage for the electricity, I mean electrons for example. I mean the, uh, using some uh, the reaction, okay? uh, there are some uh, uh, electrodes so that uh, uh, electrons should uh, coming from this way to this way. So this is uh, some kind of uh, electron passage. So. Uh, uh, just removing the land is not always uh, uh, possible. Okay? So uh, that uh, what we did is that they are we put just metal foam. Okay? Well, uh, if I'm uh, lots of uh, uh, what is it uh, uh, research money, then I can have some mold, okay? some dyes to make uh, much nicer. Okay? Uh, some uh, structures, but uh, I'm not that rich, so that uh, we just put in uh, these metal forms there to see whether uh, the performance is somehow uh, enhanced or not like that. So uh, uh, this kind of uh, metal form was there using the same NEA, and then uh, in the case we uh, have, uh, this is actually uh, just the previous classical, okay? previous uh, sales performance, but uh, when we have uh, some metal forms with uh, uh, its pore size is about 400, 800, and uh, t uh, 1,000, and some, some several kinds of uh, uh, metal forms are just in inserted, so that metal forms are providing some electron passage, and in the middle, that uh, uh, without actually water, uh, some accumulation uh, below the land, then uh, water flow is good, so uh, overall, then uh, its, uh, uh, its performance is much more enhanced. So uh, when you look at that, uh, based upon the previous case, about 50% is increased by changing the channel and land type of uh, structure into the metal forms. Actually, uh, well, frankly speaking, that the car companies they have a much, much, much uh, uh, precise okay? structures they design, and then uh, using, for example, uh, uh, some some machines, okay? very expensive machines, and then uh, they. Uh, used it so uh, they uh, enhance this one much uh, slightly higher than this value. But anyhow, uh, in our case, you're changing uh, the bipolar plate into the metal form, then uh, obtaining 50% uh, 50, 50 more of electricity. That's, I guess, uh, well, great uh, uh, outcomes. Yeah. So, uh, in the case, we just put in uh, this kind of uh, nickel based, okay? gold plated, uh, so metal forms has been used. Yeah, and then uh, we uh, we also uh, uh, 
looked at looked at uh, gas crossover. Well, here I guess uh, one of uh, my uh, uh, PhD uh, uh, in the Arizona, okay, is uh, spending her uh, uh, postdoc here. Okay? Yeah, but uh, he she actually uh, did a lot of uh, nice work there. I guess crossover is I mean uh, mostly I guess her work. Yeah. Thank you again. Yeah. Arigato gozaimasu. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, the crossover, believe it or not, the membrane, membrane is not uh, very tight, okay? that's polymer. And one side there is hydrogen, the other side oxygen and nitrogen. So, uh, uh, well, uh, in your uh, ideal case, then uh, hydrogen should be this way and air should be this way. But uh, what we observe is that hydrogen is going through the membrane. Okay? Oxygen and nitrogen going back through the membrane. So hydrogen side, there's air, and also nitrogen. Okay? That's, I guess, uh, where it deposits a very good uh, membrane. That's been widely used. Also in air side, there is hydrogen there. That is crossover. Okay? So uh, what, what's uh, happening in the real uh, cars are in a hydrogen line, that is somehow recirculated, okay? then uh, nitrogen is coming in, oxygen is also coming in, and then there is platinum as a catalyst. So that hydrogen and oxygen, they are somehow combined together using the, ca I mean, the, the catalyst also there. So water is uh, somehow formed in hydrogen uh, recirculation uh, passage. So uh, the cars, well maybe the Hyundai and also Toyota too, they have water uh, drains in hydrogen line, okay? because the waters are formed there, okay? yeah. And also nitrogen, uh, well that doesn't uh, react with hydrogen, even though they're a catalyst. Ni nitrogen concentration is much more increasing. So. Uh, uh, as time goes by, uh, well, uh, after, uh, for example, 30 minutes, there are certain purge process. That means hydrogen together with nitrogen, some kind of release to the air okay, to reduce nitrogen concentration. So in order to prevent it, I mean, uh, the chemical engineers should do uh, some, uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, using some more bright idea that uh, they should design the membrane, but as a mechanical engineer, I cannot actually do that. So uh, we uh, somehow analyzed uh, how frequently we should purge it. That's, I guess, what we can do. And then uh, she did uh, a lot of work, yeah. And then uh, we are focusing on hydrogen crossover and uh, oxygen crossover and also uh, nitrogen crossover. And then uh, we did uh, uh, using a mass spectrometer. And then uh, at uh, a certain case, then uh, crossover the amount was somehow quantified so that uh, uh, this one was quite useful that uh, uh, the car company uh, making the fuel cell cars using this kind of information then uh, before then uh, uh, they have a certain uh, time based time based uh, some uh, purging but uh, in our case then uh, monitoring the, the, the operating situation they somehow extended the purging process that's I guess nice yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, because uh, I have uh, uh, 15 more minutes, including question and answers, but I guess uh, not so good presentation is that me only speaking the whole time, okay? So I'd like to somehow limit five more minutes and then uh, I'd like to somehow uh, uh, discuss with you, yeah. Uh, one other idea is that uh, because of the reaction, uh, water is formed, okay? and then uh, at the same time, because of that reaction is actually exothermic, ex heat is generated. So uh, just like uh, engine uh, cooling, the fuel cell cars should have also some cooling loop. Okay? It has also radiator. Okay? Yeah, that's one thing. And two, the second part is that the membrane. Membrane is just like. Uh, how can I say, uh, that's like uh, some kind of polymer, and then it should be somehow uh, humidified. If that is dry, then hydrogen uh, uh, ion cannot move, it 
cannot move and the voltage are zero. So we should anyhow somehow uh, uh, cool, uh, humidify the membrane. Yeah. So uh, what uh, actually we, we, we did is that during the same time, well, if we somehow spray, spray, it, there is airflow, so uh, some kind of noses are uh, prepared, then uh, mist of uh, water droplet together with air, yeah, that is uh, quite easy, easily formed. I, I don't know that, uh, uh, well, uh, I don't like uh, mosquito. Nobody likes mosquito, but when mosquito is in this room, what do you do? Well, during uh, your uh, sleeping time, then one mosquito is, I mean, in your room, then I guess the whole night is uh, quite terrible. And the next day, I guess you cannot do uh, well, nice research. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, there are many ways. Yeah? There are some spray. Yeah? Yeah, high pressure, uh, well, actually, uh, the hydrocarbons are inside. and. If you spray, then uh, very uh, fine yeah? droplets are uh, coming out. Yeah? That's one way. Yeah? But in Korea, we have uh, just like a tennis rocket. They have a uh, plus minor things, and just like a uh, tennis uh, play, then uh, mosquito there, then uh, this big uh, tennis rocket, like uh, electric uh, plus minus type of thing. Yeah? Then if you have a uh, cross sectional area, yeah? cross sectional area was there, and then uh, in the case, uh, uh, well, uh, if there are in between, there are something, then I guess uh, uh, it dies. So uh, making a spray is not a hard job. So uh, water, yeah? any water is formed from the fuel cell. So that is somehow collected, and then uh, if there is air, air flow, and then uh, we use uh, some kind of nozzles and droplet coming there. Then the droplet, when it meets uh, hot fuel cell stack, it evaporates. Okay? That means uh, cooling the stack. And at the same time, that kind of uh, uh, evaporated uh, water uh, droplet, or, uh, the, the water, okay? can humidify the membrane. Okay? So uh, this one is, uh, uh, well, uh, not very effective for uh, uh, low uh, power region, but uh, when it becomes, I mean, the, the car is operated at high power region. I mean, using using some uh, heels. I mean, uh, climbing up the heels with some acceleration, and then uh, if you like somehow uh, 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 using full power, then at that time this one was uh, quite uh, useful. Okay? But uh, this one, unfortunately, not yet applied to the future cars. Right, uh, well, we have that one, and then uh, another thing is that, uh, uh, well, uh, mostly the cars at this time using uh, some water, uh, using uh, uh, some liquid phase uh, force convection, that is one way to cool down the engine. Okay? But in order to make somehow a smaller, okay? in order to make smaller, then uh, what can you do? you should somehow increase heat transfer coefficient. One way is using the boiling. Okay? Uh, well, heat pipe or thermosiphons are all of the way, but uh, in our case, uh, uh, we uh, like to apply that kind of uh, thermosiphon concept together with uh, pumping. So for uh, low, uh, then low power region, then uh, using the thermosiphon, that's okay. And then uh, if the load is becoming somehow uh, bigger, then uh, we can uh, uh, force convective boiling could be used. So uh, this one, uh, well, uh, well, idea is like it's already there, already in the textbook. But uh, when we somehow do some uh, presentations about this, car companies, and also, uh, what is it, uh, uh, the, uh, well, in Korean, the Changgapcha, okay? some uh, tank uh, making companies, and also some uh, uh, electronics companies, they have uh, lots of interest in this kind of things. So uh, when you are having, uh, instead of a uh, water channel, then you can put in uh, what is non-conducting fluid, and there are also non-conducting fluid, there are many, and then uh, using that one, and then using this kind of channels, so uh, we can enhance that part's heat transfer coefficient, and using that kind of uh, 
thing, then the whole fuel stakes temperature was quite uh, nicely uh, somehow maintained. That's one idea. Right, uh, well, because of the time limitation, I'd like to, uh, I have two more. One is uh, water purge, okay? Water is generated actually inside the micro channel. You'd like to remove it, okay? That is, I guess, one of the tough job. So we have a somehow complex geometry uh, test stream, uh, and the water was inside. You are somehow asked to remove that water, okay? Well, one way is to connect vacuum pump, yeah? low pressure. In the textbook, low pressure it evaporates and then uh, water is removed. But I guess if you put in uh, a vacuum pump in a very slightly complex uh, I mean, the test rig, water, I guess, uh, well, that's uh, all still there. Yeah? Unless you just heat it yeah? to, 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 uh, make, uh, to break the metal stable state. Yeah? Yeah. Heating the whole uh, system could be one way, but uh, uh, pressure lowering is not so good. So, but here, uh, by uh, giving, uh, using some kind of valve, water is formed there, so uh, uh, pressurize slightly more, and then uh, if you uh, just uh, expand, and then the water suddenly gains some kind of a driving force, and then it moves, okay? It moves. So, uh, when uh, this kind of uh, structure uh, here, uh, there are the water meniscus. Well, it is very hard to uh, be remove, okay, by reducing pressure. Okay, so uh, in this case, uh, slightly different idea is that the water uh, should be somehow removed uh, inside the stack. So we uh, adopted uh, some uh, the, the pressure uh, 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 sudden pressure drop. Okay, sudden pressure drop. The yeah, last idea is that uh, well. Uh, in this building, in this building, you are uh, uh, well. The air is supplied there, okay? but uh, uh, the the air is not uh, hundred percent actually exhausted from uh, the room to uh, the outside. Okay? So normally, uh, uh, what, what's happening is that uh, uh, normally, I guess, twenty percent of outside air is supplied here, but the eighty percent is somehow recirculated. Okay? So by doing that, we'd like to somehow reduce the size of the humidifier. Okay? Humidifier is like it's this big, okay? this big. So that uh, by using this kind of uh, 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 idea applied, then uh, we can somehow reduce the size of uh, uh, humidifier. Okay? Uh, the, 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 the right hand side, that's the, 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 that one is humidifier, a yeah, big one. Okay? So uh, in this case, uh, just like the air uh, recirculation in the buildings, so uh, instead of having uh, using this kind of bypass valve, so uh, slightly reduced uh, a a oxygen concentration. So performance is slightly less, but the existing air contains lots of humidity, so that the humidifying load is somehow reduced. So uh, as I mentioned, the good and bad things all together, that means uh, optimization could be one way. Yeah. All right, uh, uh, yeah. the vehicles, uh, we, uh, uh, by uh, uh, using uh, that, those kind of uh, concepts all include, not all, some of them included, we actually had uh, that kind of car, and then this car, uh, was running out of fuel cell. And then uh, my students, uh, including Eric, and then uh, they actually spent uh, quite an amount actually to make this car running like this. Yeah, right. All right, so uh, uh, this is my last slide, and then, uh, uh, well, the world is changing, okay? Energy, well, without uh, proper type of energy resources, then uh, we cannot survive. So uh, hydrogen could be one way, and then uh, CO2 reduction, uh, that is also another uh, uh, track that all the countries uh, somehow agreed to reduce it, so uh, we should somehow reduce it. In Korea, then, uh, we, uh, 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 the, the fuel cell cars are made, okay? And then uh, it is sold actually in US and Europe. And then uh, in our lab, we are focusing on the BOP system. And then uh, for uh, uh, future, uh, uh, what is it? Rather, uh, uh, 
uh, get rather uh, good and healthy and sustainable future, then uh, we should anyhow uh, share some ideas and then cooperation okay, is quite necessary. Yeah, that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Minsu, for your excellent talk about how to improve the uh, field cell performance from the mechanical engineering point of view. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, let's thank again to the speaker.